Hey guys, welcome to my very first YouTube channel. Actually, I take that back. This isn't my first YouTube channel, but this is my very first beauty channel. Um, I decided to do to start a beauty channel because I do find myself having a little bit of spare time in the morning while my husband is at work and my children are at school. So I decided why not take that opportunity and film a few videos for you guys and do something with my spare time besides cleaning the house whenever I can. Um, for this first makeup tutorial I decided to go where I wanted to do a very soft neutral everyday makeup look but something was up with my eyeliner I don't know if it was too liquidy or it was just way too uh, thick than I wanted to but I decided to make it more smokier on the outer corner of my eye instead of going with a softer look but I do hope that you like it I will try to film twice a week if I can and I'm sorry for the lighting if it's a little too dark or a little too yellow or if the lighting is uneven I don't own all the equipment the lighting equipment that every most YouTube makeup artists have because I'm just starting um, but hopefully in time the lighting will get better um, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent setup but I do like the fact that there's natural light coming in um, in this area over here um, I am filming in my bedroom and I know this white background is kind of original and not so extravagant but um, we'll deal with it for now anyway I do hope that you like my very first makeup look and make sure you subscribe to my channel I know there's only one video so far but you know there will be more videos coming up I promise so subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you do like this makeup look and one day I'll do a um, when I get more followers I'll do a uh, Q&A to give you more information about me and get to know for you guys to get to know me a little better so anyway if you want to see this makeup look and how I did it please keep on watching and see you guys soon good morning everyone so to start off I'm going to be moisturizing my face using the clean and clear morning brush hydrating gel moisturizer this stuff is amazing it has a cucumber scent it's truly hydrating and it gives you that wake me up feeling I've also moisturized my lips using the EO Strawberry Smoothie Lip Balm. Now I'm going to be priming my eyelids using the Ultra Extreme Wear Eyelid Primer. I do have the Urban Decay Potion Primer, but I'm currently running out. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to take my ring finger and just dab that all over my eyelids. So for the eye, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35N Palette. And I'm going to be taking the lightest shade of brown from the palette and using that as a base. I'm going to blend this color all over my eyelids using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills blending brush. This brush actually came from one of the eyeshadow palettes. Um, I own the Artist palette. I do want to do a makeup tutorial on using that palette. Maybe I'll do one after this one. So I'm just going to blend this color out. Pack on this color all over my eyelid and just blend it all over um, with no rhyme or reason just to get rid of that thickness from the primer. So I thought I was going to do my um, all over eyelid color first um, using the lighter shade from this palette. But then I realized that I wanted to do the outer corner of my eyes first. So now I'm going to go back to the 35N palette and I'm going to take this medium shade of brown and this um, other shade of brown that's a little bit darker and I'm going to blend those two colors together um, using the blending brush from Anastasia and I'm going to pack on those two colors um, starting from the outer corner of my eye. And once there's not a lot of left not a lot of products left on the brush. I'm going to blend the color out towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corner. I'm just going to stop in the middle. 
So I'm just going to keep on packing on these two colors together until I get the intensity that I want. As you can see, I'm just um, doing like a dabbing packing motion. Um, and then once there's not a lot of products left, I just swipe that and blend that out towards the inner corner. And when it shows wipe a motion. And if you see my mouth moving while I'm doing this, it's because I was talking to my son, who apparently wanted to come in the room to ask if whether or not I was filming. So now I'm going to go back to that palette and going to use the lightest shade from the palette. This is like an ivory shade and I'm going to take a flat shader brush from Ulta and I'm just going to pack on this color all over my eyelids. Um, I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye and just spreading that all over my eyelid. This is just to help brighten up the eyes a little bit and to give the inner corner a little bit of a highlight. So I'm just going to keep on packing on this color until I get the intensity that I want. This is probably one of my favorite colors from the palette, um, as you can see, because I'm almost um, hitting pan, or actually hit pan. Now I'm going to take that blending brush again and just blending all those colors out to make sure there's no harsh line. Okay, so my mind was just all over the place because I thought the next thing I was going to do was foundation. But then I realized that I wanted to prime my face first. So now I'm going to prime my face using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. The bottle looks green, but the product doesn't come out green. The product actually has a an oily consistency, which I don't mind. I actually put this all over my palm areas, um, like my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Um, the palm areas I'm talking about um, where the foundation tends to kick up because of the dryness. Um, so now I'm going to go back to this Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation in the shade Natural Beige. I'm going to put the uh, foundation in the back of my hand and I'm going to use my fingers to dab it or dot it all over my face. The consistency of this foundation is just amazing. It's not too dewy. Um, it's not too runny, not too oily, not too cakey or thick. It just gives you the right amount of dewiness. So to buff out this foundation, I'm going to be using the Morphe Buffer Brush from the Set 690 Deluxe Contour Set. Um, this Brush, I think it's kind of similar to the M439 brush. I'm not sure if this is actually the M439 brush in a white version, but um, it does an amazing job in buffing out my foundation. So I'm just going to um, go in circular motion all over my face and buffing this out to make sure that the foundation is nice and even. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NYC Color Smooth Skin Liquid Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye, swipe it towards the outer corner, and drag it down, creating a triangular shape. Just to cover those dark circles and under eye bags. I'm also going to highlight the bridge of my nose, draw a little design on my forehead, the cupid bow, and my chin. And I'm going to blend out this concealer using the Real Technique Miracle Complexion sponge. This is actually my first time using this sponge. I actually put it um, in running water and I squeezed out the excess water for about 15 to 20 times until it got bigger. Um, a lot of people compare this sponge with the uh, $20 blending, uh, beauty blender, which I've never used, but um, I hear that this is better than the actual beauty blender. It just blends out my concealer so perfectly and it doesn't make my concealer look cakey at all. 
So to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mattifying Translucent Powder. And I'm going to use the Morphe Tapered Contour Brush from the set 690 Deluxe Contour Set um, to set my concealer. This is my favorite way to do this, um, as you can see, because I'm almost out of this product and I need to restock on it. So going back to the Morphe 35N palette, I'm just going to retouch my all over eyelid primer, I'm sorry, my all over eyelid color, and I'm just going to pack out, pack on this lightest color from the palette. Um, when you blend up your colors, um, it just tends out to uh, fade away the lightest color, but that's okay. I'm going to go back with the Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush and blend this all out to make sure there's no harsh line. Now I'm going to do a wing liner using the e.l.f. Essential Expert Liquid Liner in Jet Black. I actually initially did not want to do a thick wing, but my liner on this day was just acting up. It was just liquidy and runny, and I don't know what was going on, but I just uh, managed to deal with it. As you can see towards the end, I wasn't too satisfied with the actual wing when I flipped it. It was a little bit messy, but I did find a way to uh, fix it. So just keep on watching and you'll see how I did it. And I'm just using a uh, compact mirror from uh, Sephora. My cousin actually gave this to me as a gift um, on Mother's Day. As you can see, I wasn't too satisfied with the uh, wing, so I'm going to go back to the 35N palette and I'm going to use this brownish burgundy shade and I'm going to use a an old small fluffy brush from Claire's that I've had for a long time. I'm just going to pack on this color in the outer corner of my eye right on top of that liner just to smoke out that liner a little bit. Um, I don't want this look to be too smoky as I want it to stay as soft as possible, but this is just my way of fixing that mess up wing. Now I'm going to get ready to do my brows. I'm taking this spoolie from the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't have any more left from this Micro Brow, so I'm going to use the Cover Girl Brow and Eye Maker Brow and Eye Maker Pencil in Midnight Brown. I did this off camera, but with the power of editing, my brows are done. Moving on to this e.l.f. Uh, nude palette from the holiday gift set that I got over the holidays, and I'm going to take this shimmery gold beige undertone um, color, and I'm going to highlight my brown, brow bone with it. And I'm using a petite eye shading brush from the Eco Tools Essential Eye Set. Now I'm going to go back to that 35N palette um, with that brownish burgundy color and I'm going to take an old angled eyeliner brush. I'm going to take that color and just put that on my lower lash line starting from the outer corner and I'm just going to bring that all the way to the middle. I'm not going to bring it all the way to the inner corner, I'm just going to stop in the middle just to smoke out that lower lash line a little bit. I'm just going to pack on this color until I get the intensity that I want. So to buff this out, I'm going to take the medium shade of brown from the 35N palette and using a Scone Cosmetic Smudging Brush from the December's Ipsy Bag, I'm going to smudge out this um, brownish burgundy color to make sure that there's no harsh line. So 
going back to that nude um, palette from e.l.f. I'm going to take that shimmery gold and beige color again and I'm going to take that petite eye shading uh, brush to highlight that my inner tear duct. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take an oldie but a goodie. This is the Victoria's Secret Trend Report Makeup Kit. I'm going to use this um, round shade over here as my contour slash bronzing um, shade. I'm not an expert in bronzing or contouring. Um, if you guys have any advice on doing so, please leave a comment down below. I truly appreciate it. But I'm going to take this um, fluffy blush brush that I got from Walmart. Um, just to contour my cheekbones and I'm also going to take that color up on um, my forehead towards the uh, hairline and I'm going to bring it down towards my cheekbone. Now I'm going to take another oldie but goodie. This is the Ultra Holiday Makeup Kit from December 2014. I'm going to take this um, beautiful color, I think this was called Desire. I'm going to use that as a um, blush color. And I'm taking the Morphe Angled Buffer Brush from the 690 Deluxe Contour Set um, to blend this all over my cheeks. I'm starting at the apples of my cheeks and just blending it out. Okay, going back to that trend makeup kit, I'm taking this highlight color and using a little brush that I got from Dollar General. I find this to be such a perfect highlighting brush. I just put this all over my the top of my cheekbones and um, my camera is going to die after this. And now that my camera died, I did go back to film and now I'm taking this Revlon um, eyelash color to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to take the Maybelline 1x1 one one Express Mascara and apply about 2-3 to three coats in that on my lashes. I don't do falsies, I've never done it, I've never tried it. But if you guys have any suggestions on good um, false lashes, please leave a comment down below. I'm also going to apply um, mascara in my lower lash, my lower lashes using the Clinique High Impact Mascara in Black. I got this from a gift set. Um, if you buy like a certain amount of money of Clinique products, you get a free gift from Belk. And this is actually recent from February. So now to finish off this look, I'm going to take this NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Recruiting and just putting that all over my lips. And then I'm going to top it off with the Morocco Model Company Lip Cracker in the shade Morocco. This one I got from a, the recent Ipsy bag, the February 2000, 2016 Ipsy brush. Ipsy bag. Oh my goodness, I can't talk today. Um, this gloss is just amazing. It's just so beautiful. And I'm just going to take my hairpin off. Take my hair. And that is my stuff everyday look. I hope you guys like it and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!